Good morning, Josh. Good morning. Good morning, baby. You look so pretty today. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I could sit down and we could chat a little bit before we get started today while I drink my coffee. It's still very hot. If you guys are new here, my name is Tori and my husband Josh and I have been living in vans for almost three years now and we are currently converting our third van that we are also living in. Yesterday, Josh and I kind of spent the day getting everything ready for us to have a super productive day today. This week, we are breaking ground on our tiny kitchen. I'm so excited. Josh got the framework in yesterday and it looks amazing. I'll show you guys a little bit of what we have planned. We also are hoping to tackle getting our ceiling paneling up. You and I will be doing a lot of painting, a lot of sanding, staining those kind of things we're getting to the point in the build where it's a lot of finishing work so yeah mostly just lots of painting I got my painting shirt on a big cup of coffee and I'm ready to finish building this van well not this week but hopefully in the next week or two because I've got places I've got to be as chaotic as living in here while we're building in here has been, it's kind of been the best motivator for us to get working and install the things that we've been living without. We've seen so much progress in the last couple of weeks and I'm so excited. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow along as we get ready to hit the road. But let's get to work. The final coat of polyurethane is drying on our beautiful table and side this is the countertop that goes by the couch and then these two pieces over here will be our roof bench we're not calling it a deck because it's not really that wide but if it's perfect place to just sit and watch the sunset josh is screwing in some finishing touches in the back give you a better look at our kitchen area that we've gotten framed out here so we've got it separated this area will be our propane tank and our stove will be above it. And then these will be our fresh water storage sink above that. Gray water under the van. We'll have our light switch and our water pump switch here. Turned out nice and sturdy. Looks great. I'm set up out here to do some painting on the finishes for the tops of the back door while Josh works on some other things get to it. All right, coming in again with the oil-based primer for a good water protectant seal. And then I got out my colors that I had left over from the mural that I painted in the other van. I think I'm going to have some fun with these today and you and I are going to paint some murals on these back door panels and see what we can come up with. So that'll be Fun. It's very dried on there. Woo. <laughs> so we're just planning out where we're gonna put our lights we're trying to figure out where on the ceiling we'd like to put them do you want to explain uh, we're gonna try to balance them between the cabinets and uh, also center it with the vent fan and we're doing three sets of two pairs of lights all the way down so six lights total first I gotta wire the lights yeah 
And then the ceiling can go up, so we're just getting everything taken care of so that we can start that project. It's looking really good, Josh. Nice and thin, super great for building a van, but they are all kind of coming out of this one box, so they need to be installed more at the center of the van rather than at one end or the other. How far did you say that was? What? From here to here? I don't know. I, I was measuring it from here, so you said 14. 14. The sun is finally starting to get a little lower in the sky, which is awesome because it was crazy hot today which was great for having paint dry so I've basically gotten these mural pieces that I'm going to paint tomorrow afternoon I've got them all color blocked this one in particular I'm going to finish painting this evening we will be mounting our bamboo shower mat onto this panel um, so I'm going to do stripes all the way up in different colors so I'm going to use some tape and get that taken care of right now and this other one I'm going to do more of a tiny mural or just like a painting on. Josh is starting work on the ceiling. We tend to get much more done at this time of day because it's not quite so hot um, and we're just I don't know afternoon and evening people I guess. See what Josh is up to inside. Lights are hung, everything's taped up. Ready to put up a ceiling? Yeah. out our lights hopefully everything works because everything's kind of built into the ceiling already but I guess better to know now than before the entire ceiling goes up so nothing okay trying something different nice and bright. Mm -hmm. I like them. Excellent. Working late into the evening by many forms of flashlight, but the ceiling is coming along. Our first strip of lights is in. Looks so good. I guess I could turn the fan off so you guys can hear me. Good afternoon from a random park in Columbus. Josh and I had work this morning. He's working all day. I got off at noon. I went on a little bit of a supply run, went to Walmart, grabbed a couple of paintbrushes and things. Um, all of my pieces that I got painted front and back yesterday are all dry and ready to go. So we're going to do some painting while we wait for Josh to get off work. I fell so in love with the mural that I did in the other van. I wanted to incorporate some form of my art into this van as well. 
um, but we don't have like a pocket door and there's not a good wall space. The wall paneling just looks too nice to paint on. So we'll be doing some murals for the back door finishes this week. So these two pieces will go on the tops of the doors and then the bigger pieces will go on the bottom. I want to show you guys what I finished up yesterday. I'm really excited about how this one's going to turn out. Oh, they're stuck together. That's a good sign. All right, so this is the one I did yesterday for one of the back doors. So I just did some colored lines. Hopefully the tape will leave some nice clean lines behind and this one will look really cool. I'll probably have Josh hang these up when he gets home tonight just so that they're up and out of the way. The other one is going to be more of an art piece. So I'm gonna put some tunes on. Me and Haley are just hanging out in this parking lot. It's still dark in here because we haven't gotten our power hooked up. So I have this little lantern and I've got the back window covers down for some natural light. Loving having the windows already. It's also been in the 90s the last few days, which really does make it a lot harder to get a ton done each and every day that we work. The heat is so exhausting and there's not a ton of relief in the van or the other van for that. So we try and just take breaks and make sure that we're not getting dehydrated or overheated. Um, it does kind of suck that it's taking us a little bit longer to get things done. It's gonna be in the 90s again all week. <sighs> This van build has been a very, very sweaty one. Um, just hoping we can kind of get things wrapped up as much as possible in the next week or two. I don't know how September got here so fast. Does anybody else feel like August was only like a week long? Because not sure where it went. Just realized today September is like next week, which is crazy. And I'm so unprepared. I have so much organizing to do. Um between moving into this van from the other, downsizing again, the amount of stuff that we're able to collect in a short period of time is crazy and I kinda want a fresh start, deep clean, go through all my things before I hit the road. Something about that whole process is very therapeutic to me. So I'll be doing that hopefully too. I'm not sure when I'll be sleeping. Also got some work shifts that I picked up. It's gonna be a busy couple of weeks. <laughs> Using the kitchen framing as a drying rack. I don't really have running water to clean out the paintbrushes either, so I'm gonna try and do everything in one color at once, at least on these two. I do have a jug of water though, and I think that I still have my coffee cup from this morning, so that might work for brushes. Letting things dry a little bit, but they're at least done enough to put up on the doors and then I can kind of finish the art after I get on the road. That way we can get some more pressing projects done. And we're back. It felt like it had been forever since we had a build day at Home Depot. So we're back at the depot. Actually wearing depot colors today as well. I had a work shift this morning. Been hanging out here most of the afternoon in my office editing. Now we are getting ready to install these door finishes that I painted for us. Also got these two down here. This one is definitely not done yet, but we'll go ahead and install this one. I'm so excited to see these put on. That will officially cover up the last of the blue insulation. Well, once we finish the ceiling anyway. We're getting so close. Also, side note, these window covers, I think may be one of the best purchases of this build so far. I still have to goog on all the duct tape off of here though. Oh, I 
think it looks so good. It definitely needs a couple of touch-ups, but I think this is gonna be such a fun way to make our van a little extra unique. Okay, so this one goes there. stick the back of these with um, some of the stuff insulation really nice and thin great for vans um, but the back doors have a lot of electrical wiring in them so to prevent damaging any of that with foam like spray foam or anything with spray foam or anything we use this on the back doors um, and it being so thin saves us space I'm just gonna place this along the back side before we hang it up I'll go ahead and do the other side of this one. So this mural is definitely not anywhere close to done, but I'll give you guys a sneaky peek. Trust the process, y'all, it's gonna be cool. I'm so excited to see the top two on. Kinda complete the bedroom area. So for our shower area, I got us this bamboo shower mat to keep our feet from getting muddy. So our shower curtain will hang from these metal hooks across the top. Um, so I'm planning on mounting this, not really sure how yet, and then a hook over here for my towel and a little fold down cup holder that was gifted to us. Um, I'll be putting there, not for shower beer, probably for shampoo, but optional shower beer, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's my plan for that door, and then we'll be hanging the more artsy piece on the other door, um, and the little ones on the top. Here you go, bud. Upside down. <laughs> So here's the finished product. Well, they're hung. That one definitely still needs a lot of work, but. They look so amazing, you guys. I'm so happy with how they turned out. They look great, but we are absolutely exhausted. So I think we are gonna close up shop here for the week. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. If you guys are new here, my husband Josh and I What a wingspan, Josh. Yeah. Why is that so on? I wanna get the bat mat. Bat mat. The bat mat. They look great, but we're absolutely 